Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashallah, Kohalo Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and rule well, and by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all you Akim and Nakwafthas out here, sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, to the best of your ability. Yachanan, Wach, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just want to touch on, um, now this lesson is from this lady um, four years ago, but I, I, you know, I don't know, it kind of came up with my timeline because, you know, you have new believers, they come into this truth and they can see this video and they can see that, you know, she's trying to basically say that your seed line comes from the woman when, a, <laughs> when the male is the one that carries seed and his nuts, man, you know, and I don't mean to sound, you know, graphic, but straight up, the dude carries the sperm, man, the dude carries the seed. That's why you'll see people that be like, oh, I see you. That's you and your, oh, that's your little seed. He's spitting image of you. You know what I'm saying? Like the male carries the seed. The woman is like earth. She is like dirt, man. She produces the nutrients, you know, that that and, you know, and gets that seed to grow and properly coming into the earth. So when she gives birth to that, that seed, that seed is what that dad is. It's no way around that, man. That is common sense. It is third grade science. But you have these women that just can't take because she matter of fact, overall, when I see her, I because I've seen her before. Because as you can see, um, it's her the channel was called redirecting. And she's mainly man, she, she be calling scriptures and her her husband be reading for her when she's supposed to be in silence, man. You see what I'm saying? Let's get that real quick. What's that? Uh Second Timothy, first Timothy um, two and twelve. Matter of fact, let me get verse eleven as well. What it says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. See, she's not supposed to be teaching at all. But let's see what she's teaching. Cause because she's emotional, you know. She don't want she don't want to give the props to the man as being this carrier of the seed. Which the woman, the man and the woman got a very important part in it. Why can't she just allow the man to have the portion of the part that he's supposed to play and, and the woman plays the part that they're supposed to play? You see? But, you know, you're living in a, a land of feminism where women really just can't stand that, oh, you niggas, oh, oh so it's just all about y'all. Well, I mean, when it comes straight down to the male, you know, the Israelites, southern and northern kingdom, they all came from four women, four different women, you see? <laughs> so Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, those are the men that the promises was given to. And it didn't make no difference to women that they got with because those men were Israelites, you see? So if a, if a, if a so-called black man get with a so-called white woman, that child is an Israelite. And if a so-called white man get with a so-called um, black woman, that child is an Edomite. It don't make no difference what man it is. Chinese, he can be a so-called Chinese man. If he get with a so-called white woman, that child is a damn Moabite. It just is what it is because the male carries the seed. The Lord created it that way, man. You can plant any kind of seed in your backyard right now. You're going to get fruit from that particular seed. The ground is just the ground. Now, you might plant uh, 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 cucumbers out in California in a hot-ass desert area. They could come out a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? But still, it's going to be cucumbers. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But let's get a little bit of her video. I was already kind of playing into it. Let me go back some. Let's see here. Hello, this is Deborah Yaw with Black Education TV. Uh, briefly, I'm going to be discussing the whole teaching that comes from a lot of the Israelite camps and assemblies that states that you are what your father is. Uh, we've covered that before on the Watchmen Reports channel as well as this channel, but there's another element that um, I'm going to be bringing into this, and we will do a more in-depth um, lesson or teaching on this on the Watchmen Reports channel at some point. Um, but real briefly, I'm going to talk about another element that has not been considered. First of all, the main passage of scripture that many are using to state that you are what your father is is in numbers the first chapter where it talks about establishing the pedigree after the father okay so now let's get that because that's exactly what it is but she that's not enough for her 
She can't take that. That that right there is just too much. No, it can't just be about the man. And a lot of women that come into this truth, they can't accept the fact that the man is who the Lord is dealing with, man. He's dealing with the men. He created Adam first. As a matter of fact, had I gone on a little bit further, let me let me just go into that. Matter of fact, let me go back to um. Let me go. Let me go back to this. Salakia. This is very important to know, man. Let's see what it says. Let me go back. It says, let the first Timothy 2 and 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, which means in quietness and all submissive, you know, being submissive, man. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp the authority over the man, but to be in silence. See, now here's the reason. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, not Eve and then Adam. <laughs> and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression, you see? So that's the point that I wanted to make with that. It, it's nothing wrong with the position of the woman, and it's nothing wrong with the position of the man, but there is order. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Let me see. You have um, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. No, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. But I, but I will have you know, that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. And that's another indicator that you know that the father and his son are not the same. The Lord didn't come from his throne. You know what I'm saying? And and, and he came to earth. He sent his son. That's another um, misconception with Christians that Jesus is God. <laughs> like for real. But this is letting you know right here, there's an order. You see, because Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, he has a head. And it's saying that they, his head is Yahweh and the head of the woman is the man. There's an order. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, his son, then the man, then the woman, then the children. That's the order that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set up. Now, let's um, let me, now let's go into um, numbers real quick. Chapter one to quote what she's talking about. OK, it says the registration of Israel's troops. It says, and the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of the congregation, on the first day of the second month, in the second year, after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, after their families, by the house of their fathers. See, it don't say by the house of their mothers, it said by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles. Every male, not every female. This is about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is not about Abigail, Isabella, and Jessica. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The Lord has order, man. Now, like I said, again, the women, they have their part. It's important. They have important parts, but the women just, a lot of these women just cannot take the order of you. They are totally against the scriptures, man. You see, they, matter of fact, who do you think was, was fooled? It, the scripture just said that Eve was fooled by the serpent. You see? Eve's supposed to be chilling. She's supposed to be learning from her husband. She's not supposed to be... Come on, man. <laughs> Let's, you know. And then, like I said, as you go on through this, this chapter, it goes off into all the tribes. And it names off... Um, Let's go a little further here. Let's see here. Verse three, from 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. And with you, there shall be a man, see, a man of every tribe, not a woman of every tribe, a man of every tribe, every one head of the house of his fathers. You see what I'm saying? That's why you see mostly men names in the scriptures. Every now and then you'll see a woman's name. You you know, it's, you know, but I, I got to say at least 95% of the time you're seeing men being, being named in the scriptures, man. And even when you go into the genealogy of Yahweh Shah, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Matthew 1, you're going to see nothing but men being named off until about verse 15 or 16, I think it is, um, you know, where it mentions Mary. But overall, it's telling you who begot who. A man begot, you know, and, and those men carried on the seed. 
because men carry seed. You see, you can always like to use the example, say, for instance, a guy, he can have sex with nine different women. All those children are going to be his seed. But when a woman, if a woman has sex with nine different men, it takes her a lot longer to first off have those children because why? She's going to be pregnant for nine months with each one of those children. Within nine months, a man can be to had 200 fucking kids, 300 kids. Depends on how much stamina he got. He can be popping, you know, 20 women a day. And dropping seed into them. And all those women are going to get pregnant. But those women can only get pregnant within, you know, one time within nine months. But if a woman has sex with nine different men and she gets pregnant by some nine different men, all those children are nine different men's seed. As opposed to a man having sex with nine women and, all, and getting all of them pregnant. All those nine women, those are his seed. You see? That's common sense. It just makes sense, man. A woman can get pregnant only once in nine months, but a man can have a thousand fucking kids in nine months. That right there, I can I can close down the lesson just with that in itself. But let's let's go back. Let's get some some more of what she's saying. But what many don't realize or bring into the whole conversation is that this was a, an assembly of the Israelites, where the Israelites were coming together. This was not an assembly of everyone in the world, of um, every nation. See, it doesn't matter if it was a, an assembly of everyone in the world. The men of even the other nations, all, that's just the way that the Lord created it. Men carry seed. It's not just talking about Israelite men when it comes to seed carrying. The, the so-called Chinese men carry seed, Japanese you see, Cambodians, Filipino, they don't care. The so-called white man, the so-called African, the Hamites, they carry seed. And whoever they have sex with, that's their seed. See, so she's trying to go all left with it and trying to make it seem like, oh, well, it's not talking about every night. See, that's what that sneakiness. And this was four years ago. And like I said, she hasn't taken this video down. As you can see, she's getting monetary value every more than likely every time this video is being played. And I just so happen to see it. But I know when our people come into the truth, because when you look at these comments, it's going to be all all nigga women. This one right here says, my thoughts on this is just stay within your tribe, Judah, and we won't have to worry about the issues that will come with marrying outside of it. See, it, a bunch of women, man, that, that, that should be shutting the hell up. It says, this is why women shouldn't teach. Well, I, I put that one in. This is why women shouldn't teach. No book, chapter, or verse, because she doesn't give a book, chapter, or verse in this. This person says, thanks so much for this wealth of information. I was under the impression that we are what our father is, but now you've opened my eyes to the truth. See, that don't that sound like the serpent opening up Eve's eyes? Eve, she wanted that fruit. She wanted that... That, that knowledge, you see, Sister Deborah, this is something everyone should know. See, Shalom. It says, um, this person right here, Marquisha Curtis, these are all women. Now I get it. Wow, the Father is always answering my questions. Oh, the, hey, the Lord is allowing Satan to deceive your ass. Things that have been coming to me lately, your videos, it each in, in wonder. Thank you, my sister. Hallelujah and all that crap. Sis, I'm so thankful. Now, you got this other person, Ahava, you know, with, with um, Esau Edom's, you know, bullshit-ass Yiddish. It says, Sis, I'm so thankful that you and your family have been so obedient and steadfast to the call of the Most High. Yah! They don't, they, don't, they don't type out the full name of Yahweh. It's Yahweh, not Yah, man. Like I said again, Yah just means he. Yahweh means he exists or the existing one. It says to bring out spiritual and ethical topics to feed our people. I used to be a part of a camp. See? Oh, my goodness. And left a long-ass paragraph. And I felt so vexed in my spirit with the atmosphere of pride, hatred, blatant lies that were not even in the Bible. Joseph, being the father of our Savior, was one of the many lies being told constantly. So this person right here more than likely believes in the virgin birth. I could never understand how they would say this until I found out that all these camps are split offs from someone to West Camp and the leader had a dream and made up the 12 tribes chart. These camps are religious groups 
just like the many denominations. Of, but if you're following this lady, then you're what's so different from her group than, than the other ones that you're mentioning? That's the thing. See, because it fits what this person wants to want, want to go down, man. You see, it says truly Yah has allowed strong delusion to fall upon people who feed into their own fleshly desires. Come on, man. Beautifully demonstrated, well explained, and backed up by the Bible verses. See, see, they don't even understand it. these are not even Bible verses because you know why? They didn't go into it to even search it. That's why the scripture says, blesses the man that read. Now, let's go on further because I want to show you why. Let's get it. This wasn't an assembly that included people. No, matter of fact, let's go to the point of what she's using. Let me come down a little bit. And you can go into this and, and um, you know, check this out for yourself. And there you go. Probably more likely another advertiser is about to pop up. Because, you know, hey, these, these, these people are set up as agents, man. Ancestry made it really easy to learn about my family's history. Finding... See, when you see these, when you see advertisements in Hebrew Israelite videos, you have to know that they have, they more than likely have 501c3 charters and they're being, they're basically in, into it for money because they get paid for this. Dinah. Now that was from the testament of Job. Now see, there we go right here. It sounds as if... It's, but you are a chosen. Let me go and back a little bit more, a little bit more, because this is what I want to get. Because this is where she's come. She's trying to make it seem as if this is coming from the book of Job. Mother Dinah. And this is not from. in the book of Job. And I'm going to show you where she's getting this from. So, for I am from the sons of Esau. I want to bring it up again because Job is not. The brother of. I'm not referring Job to the is not children that were killed. Okay. This is what Job says. He says, I am your father, Job, fully engaged in endurance. But you are a chosen and honored race from the seed of Jacob, the father of your mother. For I am from the sons of Esau. Now, see, that's not in the book of Job. Job never said in the book of Job that he's he, he's a damn Edomite. You see, and that's where they get that Job was a eat Job was an Edomite shit from because of some pseudoscience or some pseudo book. And that's what we're about to get into. Let's let's play it further. The brother of Jacob, of whom is your mother Dinah from? So it looks like. Job, and I'm going to read this again. He says, I'm your father, Job, fully engaged in endurance, but you are a chosen and honored race from the seed of Jacob, the father of your mother. For I am from the sons of Esau, the brother of Jacob, of whom is your mother Dinah. Now, that was from the testament of Job. Now, where does she, what book, chapter, or verse did she give you? She said it's from the Testament of Job. You're not going to find it in the book of Job in the Bible. She's saying it's from the Testament of Job. She should have said Job chapter whatever, verse such and such, such and such. You, she, she didn't say that. She didn't say that. She didn't tell you what book, chapter, or verse where Job supposedly had said that from. Now, let me show you where she got this from, though. This is where she got this from. And she actually says it. See? The pseudo pigographer. Now let's let, let me let me go back into her hookup. We're gonna get it out of her own mouth. It sounds as if Job's children that he had with our four sister Dinah are being called Israelites, being named after the seed of their father, the honored race. See, okay. Now let's go into the scriptures real quick. Let's let's just put in the word Dinah. Let's just put in the name Dinah. And let's see. Okay, so you have Dinah in Genesis all the way. It's just Genesis. No other book. No other book is Dinah mentioned. Now this is Dinah, the daughter of Leah. You know, which she bare to Jacob. As you can see, G Genesis 34 and 1. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, 
which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. Okay, so now as you can see, Dinah's name is only mentioned in Genesis 30, 21, Genesis 34 and 1, Genesis 34 and 3, Genesis 34 and 5, Genesis 34 and 13, Genesis 34 and 25, Genesis 34 and 26, and Genesis 46 and 15. Now, where's Job at in that? Job is a whole totally other book. So who, where is she talking about this at? I just showed you. You see? I just showed you this right here. It says, pseudo pigographer are falsely attributed works. I don't even need to go no further. You can you can put pull this up in a Wikipedia. You see what I'm saying? Now the apocrypha, we know that the apocrypha was a part of the night um the 1611 King James version of the Bible. If you go and get you a King James 1611, you're going to see that the apocrypha is still in the Bible. The Protestants removed that those particular books. Well, let's go back because I want to get it directly out of her mouth. She's going to mention that this is where this is coming from. That's not in the book of Job. Job never mentioned no shit like that in the book of Job in the scriptures. This is why women shouldn't be teaching. And this is why you have to stay away from all these damn books, man. The book of Jubilee, the book of Enoch, the book of Adam, the book of all, the, all these damn books. And see, a lot of our people, they come into this truth and they start to read into, they don't even know the damn Bible. <laughs> They can't, they ain't even read the whole Bible, but they got the book of Job. I mean, they got the book of Jubilee. They got the book of, uh, 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 of, of whoever the hell, man. The book of aliens. They got the book of the serpent. They got the book of Adam. You see what I'm saying? But well, we going to get this directly out of her mouth real quick. It says, but you are a chosen and honored race from the seed of Jacob, the father of your mother. Are you all paying attention to this? So there's this huge argument that many brothers are put, putting forth to say that you are what your father is. If you marry and have children with a woman outside of the Israelites. Hmm. But this passage says something totally different. It's showing that the children of Job are be, being called after their mother's seed, being called a chosen and honored race. That doesn't even make no sense. A mother doesn't need, a woman don't carry no seed. That's common sense. But let's go further because I want to really show you where she got this shit from. Because you are not going to see that in the book of Job. Nowhere. I just clear. We just, we from just proved seed that. Of Jacob. The father of your mother. Hmm. Now that gives you something else to think about. So, family, let's have a discussion on that. What are your thoughts on that? Because we already know that the passage used in Numbers, that the brothers are trying to use to justify marrying strange women, is being taken out of context. We know that. Wow. That is for sure. That is insane. They're using it to justify when the scripture actually tells you. There are passages that tell you if you are one of the men of Israel and you have children with strange women, women outside of the Israelite women, the scripture gives strict instructions on what is to happen with those marriages and those unions. But this passage we just read out of the Testament of Job, in which if you have a pseudepigrapha, you can go. find... See what she just said? The pseudepigrapha, that's where she's getting this from. The pseudepigrapha, pseudepigrapha are falsely attributed works. Texts whose claim author is not the true author, or a work whose real author attributed... It to the figure of the past. See, she, she's going off into other books that she shouldn't even be into. You see, and also I noticed she, I noticed that she tried to be sneaky with the fact that um, um, she's probably talking like the book of um, Ezra, and uh, what else? Let me see here because there's a couple of books where basically um. Basically, in like Ezra and Nehemiah, where 
you know, the, the children of Israel were going back to build a temple and, you know, um, certain men, they had wives of the other nations. And, you know, the, the, the real fuss was that they had children with these women. The Israelite men had children with these women where basically they took on women, basically that had children with other men too as well, but the children didn't speak Hebrew. And there, there, there are, um, Portions in the scriptures where the Lord told us certain certain nations not to deal with or marry their women because that's what happened to King Solomon. He said that those women would basically those women basically would 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 keep us from serving our fa our father our God basically. You see what I'm saying? That you know, and that's mainly what Solomon went into was, was um, building temples and groves and. And places for the women that he married, because you know Solomon had seven hundred women and three hundred concubines. Those women were supposed to come into his house and be under subjection to him and serve our God, and as opposed to him kind of falling back and building, you know, these places for these 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 damn heathens to worship their false gods. You see what I'm saying? So she's trying to be sneaky by using that because this is a clear clear cut. Let me see. Um, let me see if I can find this one scripture. Oh, it's a lot here. Because there was an order. If we went to war and we saw a woman that was um attractive, then we could we could take that woman. See? This right here. Let me go up into it. Deuteronomy chapter 21 and 12. Let me see. Let's go up some. See, marriage to, ca to a captive woman. That's the title on this. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and the Lord thy God have delivered them unto thy, into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seeth among the captives a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to, to thy wife, then thou shalt bring her to, your, to thine house, and she shall shave her head and pare her nails, and she shall put the raiment of captivity from off her, and she and shall remain in thine house, and bewail her father and her mother a full month, and after that thou shalt go in unto her and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. See? So where's the De, where's Deborah on this? Why didn't she explain that that particular scripture? You see, but she's trying to be sneaky, you know, and that's how the enemy gets down. You see what I'm saying? These scriptures, man. Hey, look, the so the hey, the woman has no business trying to teach these scriptures. But I'm telling you, this woman, she's constantly over her man. I've seen videos of them. You know what I'm saying? Her man is not telling her, hey, look, you're not supposed to be teaching the scriptures. And they teaching you that, yeah, 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 this, yeah, that. You know, like, come on, they don't even use the full name of the father. But this right here is letting you know right here that when we went to war and we saw a beautiful woman, and we take her ass, man. Make her cut her nails or hair, cut her damn hair ball, you know. Let her put on the the the, the basically her her the sackcloth, so to speak. Put on that 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 garment of captivity. She'll mourn her mother and her father for a month, and then you yeah you took yeah you popped her, and it's just that simple, man. But see this chick right here, she is straight going off. But look at what she gave you though, pseudo pigographer. That's why we tell you guys, man, when you first come into this truth, just stick to the scriptures, man. It's enough in the scriptures. You can read the Bible every day. I don't give a shit. You can read the Bible. You can be here on this planet 100, 300 years, man. You still, you'll never get, you still will find something new in the scriptures every single time, I believe. You see? But our people are so adamant about just trying to be, got to have this extra wisdom, see? Look at this shit. See, edited by Charles, by James Charlesworth. You know that's a damn Edomite. Some damn Edomite trying to tell you about the scriptures and telling you that Joe had a wife named Dinah and that the seed line came from the woman. Get the fuck out of here, man. And you know what? That's what them small hats believe in. Like them 1948ers. That's what them small hats believe in. They believe that the that, that their lineage comes from their mother. And that nothing can be further from the truth, man. Seed comes from sperm. <laughs> That's why when you get 
<laughs> you get the matter of fact, let's let's get the seed of David real quick from Yahweh Shai. That's how we know that Yahweh Shai, and she kind of got slick with that too. We know that Yahweh Shai was born through Joseph, through his seed. We know that. See, it's Romans 1 and 3. Let me go into that. It says, concerning his son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. What does according to the flesh mean? That means that between a man and a woman, some flesh was bumping. Now let's go into this word seed. It's real simple. Let's go into this word seed. And what it's going to tell you is going to, it's sperma. There you go right there. There you go right there. Sperma. Strong's G, 4690, sperma. Sperma. That's where you seed. You get the word, that's where you get the word sperm from. From which a plant germinates, the seed, the grain or kernel, which contains within itself the germ of the future plants. Because you're going to plant them in the ground and they're going to give you more fruit. That's the purpose of seed. You goddamn idiots, man. You just common sense. People just want to just, it's simple and people want to complicate the scriptures, man. It says metaphor, a seed, a residue, or a few survivors reserved as the germ of the next generation. Just as seed is kept from the harvest for the sowing. That's why when you, when you sow and you go out and get the harvest, if you're familiar with harvesting plants or fruit, vegetables, you keep seed from that. So you can plant, replant it. That way you can get more fruits and vegetables. If you destroy the seed, you're not going to get no more fruits and vegetables the next year. <laughs> Common sense, man. See, it says the product of this, semen, seed, children, offspring, progeny, family, tribe, posterity. And there you go right there. It says the seed, virile, man. And that's what this means. You see what I'm saying? The seed comes from the father, man. So this chick right here, matter of fact, let's go back and cause cause look, man, this this lady be going, she's going all the way off, man. But like I said again, you can see this was four years ago. She's got thirteen thousand views on it, and as you play the video, she's getting monetary value of every single video that she does, and you know this is popular. To the women, man. Our women love to hear shit like this. You know why? Because it fits into American white people, so-called white people, feminism. The woman love being, see, the woman had been over us in, in America for so long. They, they want to bring that into the truth. When you come into this truth, you got to go back into the proper order. That means you shed off all the bullshit that you done learned from these so-called white people and you come into the order of the scriptures. This lady right here, she's clearly not one of those people. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me see here. I wanted to just go into her channel. See, this is redirect her. her yeah, she wants to redirect you from the truth. See, she got a gang of subscribers. She got a hundred. She got damn near 200,000 subscribers. See? And she's out here teaching like she's a damn man. And here's her husband right here. You can see her husband right here, but he don't tell her to shut the fuck up. He don't tell her that you know what I'm saying, you need to be doing what the scripture says and, and that you don't need to be um see this is their watchman report. This is the one right here. The watchman report. This is her, this is him. And see they be off on of the let me see. And they, they be trying to go too deep, man. That's the, that's, that's the problem with a lot of our people when they come in. This, the scriptures is just not enough. <laughs> it's just not enough. They have to have this library of books. Now, is it wrong for you to read other books? There ain't nothing wrong with reading other books. But if you don't know the whole entire Bible, because obviously she definitely don't, then why are you going to some other books? You see, that's dangerous, man. You can get yourself in some shit because then you'll start adding all that bullshit to the regular scriptures and, and taking away from the scriptures, which the scriptures talks about. Hey, you you don't want to look. Hold on. Let me see. Let's go into that. And I'll end out with that. You don't want no parts of the plagues of the book, man. That's in Revelation. Yeah, 22 and 18. Where I testify to every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, 
Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And there's plenty of plagues that's in there that you don't want no parts of. Because when you go to the plagues of um, Pharaoh, and um, 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 when the, the Israelites came out of Egypt, man, hey, them plagues was something serious, man. And there's more plagues in the book than that. You know, that was 10 plagues. You don't want no parts of that, man. So be careful of, of reading these, these extra books, man. Just read the scriptures, man. Read the precepts. Find out, man. There's plenty of precepts you can go into. You know, man. You know how you know how long it takes to read the Bible. Then you here you go. You got time, man. You, you might as well put that time into reading the scriptures, man. At least get you a full understanding on the scriptures before you go off into trying to read some of these other books, man. Here she go. She's reading from. Didn't give you no book, chapter, or verse. She didn't say Job chapter three, verse sixteen. She she didn't say any of that. This is what she this is where she's quoting that bullshit from. The pseudo pigrapher. Come on, man. Wake up, man. Don't hey, don't don't do that. That's dangerous coming into this truth. When you first come into this truth, just learn the scriptures, man. Be simple with it. To be uh <laughs> what the, the the apostles always say, be one deep, not too deep. You see? So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying, Kwame Shalom.